Kia Cerato 3 Traditionally, everything is simple with Cerato 3 engines. Kia rarely indulges us with some innovations. There are only two motors, both inline and four-cylinder. The first has a volume of 1.6 liters, 130 horsepower, the second volume of 2.0 liters and 150 horsepower. Diesels in Kia were not provided for this model, although in older generations one heavy fuel unit was found. Gasoline installations are an evolution of themselves from the past. The first generation Cerato also had 1.6 and 2 liter engines of the G4 series. The listed motors are installed in just a huge number of Kia Hyundai cars, almost half of the entire model range of each manufacturer. Is it good or bad? It's not easy to answer. On the one hand, such an approach, in theory, should allow the engine to be brought to the ideal. On the other hand, there is no diversity and no evolution. But such is the way of the Korean samurai. Therefore, let's return to our reality and begin our today's debriefing with a smaller engine. G4 FG 15 years and all the same breakdowns the family of Gamma engines, which belongs to the first letter in the engine marking, was born back in 2006. What now, what then, the cylinder block is aluminum, the liners are cast ironed, that is, the bottom of the engine has not changed so far. The block head has four valves per cylinder, while the phases are variable on both camshafts. Many do not know that there are no hydraulic lifters here, and according to the documentation for the car, once every 90,000 mileage, it is necessary to adjust the valve clearances by selecting washers. Yes, this is not the same as on the Ziguli with Grandfather, with keys, but still, it is very surprising in our time. And with all this, there are a number of sores that have not been eliminated over the course of many years of evolution and have reached the Kia Cerato 3. In general, the engines of the Gamma series are very tenacious, and despite the threshold declared by the manufacturer to the capital of 180 to 200,000 kilometers, it can travel 300,000. But such a resource is possible only if the oil is changed in a timely manner and the engine as a whole is properly cared for. If the capabilities of the motor have dried up, then a major overhaul of this power unit is not advisable. As a rule, after it the engine becomes prone to overheating due to thin cylinder walls. That is, it is possible to normalize the piston group, but such an approach may turn out to be pointless. It's best to just replace the motor. The biggest and most common problem of the G4 FG is seizure in the cylinders and, as a result, an oil burner. Really for so many years it was impossible to do something with this misfortune. The source of the problem is the same as in so many other cars, the catalytic converter, also known as the catalyst, as it is commonly called everywhere. As an auto selector, I know many cases when the catalyst quietly passes both 150 TKM and 200 TKM. And it happens even in very fresh specimens with relatively low mileage, the catalyst begins to turn into abrasive chips closer to 50,000 kilometers of course, there are a lot of factors. A lot depends on how you drive and the fuel you use. Those who do not sick all the time in tightness and fill in only good 95 gasoline and above are less at risk of sending the engine to scrap metal for recycling. When checking a car before buying, it is worth sharpening all the senses, cutting off any instances with deviations from the normal operation of the unit. Signs of a worn motor are a separate topic of conversation for another similar article, so it's better to take a person with the necessary experience with you. Well, or immediately send the car for an endoscopy of the cylinders. With careful troubleshooting, these scratches on the endoscope screen cannot be confused with anything. I will focus on the remaining problems only indirectly, they are not so critical and, in principle, can be attributed to operational features. For example, vibration at low and medium speeds. At the same time, the dancing of the engine at idle can usually be easily attributed to a clogged throttle valve or flooded candles. Both this and that can be solved with your own hands, you do not need to fill the throttle with a cleaner and change the candles a lot of time and effort. Much more interesting vibration at medium speeds. No one can solve this problem in any way, and dealers assure that this is such a feature of the engine and the way it is attached to the body. Feelings are not pleasant. 
Everything starts to vibrate, a dashboard, a steering wheel, a steering column. And until you release the gas or press harder on the pedal, this effect does not disappear. How this is possible on a modern car, hard to say. And is it really the case in the resonance of the engine and body? Maybe it was just necessary to put hydraulic lifters at the factory so that the engine runs smoother? In general, the question is for the engineers responsible for vibrodynamics. Another source of vibration can be the air conditioning clutch. It is very easy to diagnose it, the air conditioner is on and there is vibration, and the air conditioner is off, there is no vibration. This is how it all happens, the video from the practice of checking a car before buying. The motor sometimes suffers from oil leaks, but it does not exhaust with constant snot, as, for example, the brainchild of the GM concern. Thus, the valve cover, which is cunning in its form, likes to start leaking, moreover, in the rear of the internal combustion engine, so that the driver does not immediately notice. But this is quite a trifle, because of which you are unlikely to give up the car. Often, when checking a car, there are snot on the front cover of the engine. There is also nothing critical, but it is already unpleasant, since the work to eliminate it is very time-consuming. As for the timing chain itself, it usually starts to rustle by about 200,000 kilometers, but of course with a direct dependence on how the specific Kia Cerato 3 was monitored and looked after. The 2.0-liter engine is a little fresher than the previous one. It was shown to the world in 2010, and over these 11 years I have already seen enough of it under the hoods of a whole bunch of different Koreans. And if we take into account that the unit was developed with the participation of Mitsubishi and the Chrysler concern, then we can say that the motor is supermassive, although at the same time with its own characteristics and problems inherent only in Kia Hyundai. Purely technically, everything is simple and clear. A blockhead with four valves per cylinder, phase shifters on both shafts, a timing chain drive with almost the same resource as in 1.6, about 180 to 200 TKM. The thermal clearance of the valves is already controlled by hydraulic compensators, which eliminates the need for adjustment. The intake manifold has acquired variable geometry dampers. The cylinder block is also aluminum. The liners, of course, are cast iron, but very thin. This is the main noticeable difference in design from 1.6. And this saving on material, I tell you, only adds to the problems. The most unpleasant malfunction here is all the same bullies from which the Koreans cannot get rid of. Or don't really want to. Somehow you need to force you to buy spare parts. Moreover, the last engine had one source of oil burner, a crumbling catalyst. Actually, this trouble has not gone away here either. But there is something else knocking in the first or fourth cylinder every second car with this engine has to hear this nerve-wracking sound through a stethoscope someone drives with such a feature for 300 tkm someone is forced to do a major overhaul due to a rampant oil burner and uneven work for 100 tkm unfortunately it is not always possible to say how much the motor has left to live only one thing can be said for sure if allowed, distinct knock persists when the engine is warm and shaking occurs at idle, then let the seller of such a car look for another buyer. The reasons for such an unstable quality are called completely different, but motorists have not received a clear answer. One of the most probable is the very thin-walled cast iron sleeves, which, due to local overheating, are deformed and become oval. This version is more like the truth, since the problem went away with the restyling of the engine in 2017, when oil nozzles were added to cool the piston bottom and lower parts of the cylinders. This means that a special role in the operation of the Kia Cerato 3 with the G4NA should be given to the cleanliness of the cooling system, the quality of the oil, and to moderate your ardor when applying the load to the unit. A slightly more rare probable malfunction of the 2-liter is the rotation of the crankshaft liners, which is more likely to be related to the quality of the oil. If you cut the service interval for changing the lubricant in half, then this problem is unlikely to affect you. There is nothing more critical than this motor. Many owners note a very small resource of the coolant pump. It may not live even 40 TKM, make noise, and let an antifreeze tear through a normal supplier of spare parts to the conveyor. 
A separate paragraph of the review about the third Cerato should be given to chip tuning. G4NA is one of those rare naturally aspirated engines that it makes sense to transfer to negative 2 euro since after the chip it is able to add a couple of dozen horses, as they say, from scratch. At least you can overclock it to the level of foreign cars with the same engine. But how much you will lose in the resource, the question is still philosophical. There are few gearbox options in our case, only two mechanical for the homeless configuration and automatic for the top two. Do you like to pull the handle, love to live without climate control? The mechanical six-speed gearbox, as expected, practically does not cause problems for the owners of Kia Cerato 3, but there are still some systematic sores. The most unpleasant thing that can happen to her is the input shaft well seal leak, which will definitely be marked by twitchiness when starting from a standstill. The rest of the seals do not leak so often, although it happens that you come for a Cerato inspection, the engine is clean, and the box is in oil. Another nuisance is the wear of shaft bearings with runs of more than 150,000. This is a normal picture if the previous owner followed the manufacturer's instructions for changing the oil at 120 TKM. Then you cannot change the oil at all, it will be, as is now fashionable, for the entire life of the mechanism. May not be long. In general, change the lubricant in the manual transmission twice as often and you will forget about it thousands for 300 kilometers for sure. It is also often necessary to adjust the backstage. It is cable, naturally, with an increase in mileage, the cables like to stretch. It becomes harder to find the right gear. One way or another, everything is solvable and quite inexpensive. The automatic transmission here is the own development of the Koreans. In general, it is not bad, reliable, and durable, known for the lion's share of the Kia and Hyundai lineup. Legs at all possible problems of this box grow from poor maintenance. This time you need to follow the manufacturer's instructions and honestly change the oil and filter every 75,000 kilometers in general, again it's in the oil. Agree, this is not difficult, but will save a decent amount of money on repairs. With proper operation and scheduled maintenance of the valve body on a run of 150,000, there will be no problems with this gearbox at all. Moreover, the manual for the car warns of the need for such maintenance, because changing the gaskets in the valve body is also not so difficult, repairing a box that has already begun to kick is much worse. Of the interesting features, I note the plastic pallet of the box. Do you like to move off the asphalt? Here it is worth considering in advance whether you are ready to call a tow truck and then change the pallet in case of a missed bump between the wheels. And, then what was the Kia Sportage for? The suspension of the third generation Kia Cerato is elementary, even when compared with other Kia models. McPherson struts in front, a conventional semi-independent being with springs in the back, although a classmate named Kia Seed has a multi-link in the back. Why did you decide to simplify? Apparently they wanted to reduce the cost of the car and at the same time save your money on suspension repairs with runs over 150 TKM. In general, the chassis does not suffer from serious problems. Let's briefly evaluate the approximate resource of some chassis elements. Shock absorbers in the front usually go up to 80,000 kilometers, in the back they live quietly and more than 100,000 kilometers if you do not carry stolen scrap metal from the construction site. Like many modern cars, Cerato likes to knock on bones, stabilizer struts, but not so often, on average, a replacement is needed every 40,000 kilometers. Silent blocks of beams, levers, wheel bearings are usually replaced closer to 150,000. Particular attention when looking for a used Cerato 3 should be given to the steering rack. For many cars with a mileage of about 100 TKM, it often needs repair. Fortunately, the assembly is quite reparable and the replacement of the rail assembly is not required. Not much to say about the body. And this is good. Kia Cerato 3 does not rot in the usual sense, does not crumble in patches, but the paint likes to swell in places. The paintwork of Koreans is traditionally quite thin, scratches form easily and quickly. There are also a couple of particularly popular places where corrosion likes to eat orphan's iron. Surprisingly, these are the edges of the roof, the trunk lid and the areas under the rubber seals. 
corrosion can easily crawl out from under a pasted rear or windshield. Another interesting feature is the water in the trunk after washing or heavy rain. As expected, the taillights were recognized as the culprits, and officially, since for many owners who found a swamp in the spare wheel niche, the dealer fixed the problem under warranty. Even from the stage of acquaintance with the Kia Cerato 3 at the time of its appearance on the market, it became clear that with such a hard interior plastic, sooner or later the salon would acquire crickets. And so it happened. In summer, everything is fine, but with the onset of winter, living creatures wake up in the panel and in the center console. There are a few questions about the appearance. Initially, the Kia Cerato 3 interior is very concise, but due to the simplicity of some materials, the interior fades before our eyes with age. Usually after 80,000 kilometers, the steering wheel begins to lose its skin, and the sidewall of the driver's seat is worn out and shaggy. In some cases, the dealer even replaced the upholstery and steering wheel assembly under warranty. Fans of Cerato 3 also note that after restyling, the materials have become more wear-resistant. Some interior elements look something like this by 100,000 kilometers. On the electrical side, Kia Cerato 3 is also simple and not at all capricious. With an increase in mileage, power windows and central locking may begin to work out. The latter does not tolerate frost, it may simply not respond, although the door will open normally with the key. At the same time, the sensor on the panel will flash, signaling that the machine is trying to open. As a rule, the problem goes away with the car warming up after 20 minutes of driving. Still there are problems with ABS and ESP the dashboard starts glowing with an anti-lock braking system lamp while the car can behave both adequately and not. Turning the ignition off and on turns off the lights. Such a floating glitch is usually caused by malfunctions of the ABS sensors on individual wheels, but let's not pretend any car can have this. In general, these problems are not of a global nature. Usually, when searching for a Kia Cerato with mileage, cars with electrical problems are not found. What can we say? Even errors in the computer's memory during computer diagnostics are a rare phenomenon. With the identification of the real mileage, the Koreans decided to specifically complicate life for us. In no other control unit of the car, mileage data is duplicated and it will not be possible to find something that would confirm or refute the figure on the dashboard even with a dealer scanner. Apparently, in Korea they simply hope for honesty since they decided to make such a gift to our domestic outbidders. That is, you will have to check the real mileage based on indirect signs and service history. However, there is still one good news. After restyling, data on the engine operating time appeared in the engine control unit, in simple terms, engine hours. Still, despite some mistakes in the creation of motors, I like the Koreans because they are optimal in all respects, both in service and reliability and in terms of behavioral data. Therefore, the used Kia Cerato 3 definitely deserves attention if you need an unpretentious reliable sedan for every day. The car is unlikely to bring any serious and critical problems if, after the purchase, it is immediately put in order and not saved on maintenance in the future. It is worth considering both engines, all gearbox options. Here, personal preferences and the amount you are willing to part with play more of a role. On a car with a mileage of 100 to 150,000 km and even with a native catalytic converter, you can immediately remove it and forget about the problem with scuffing. The rest of the childhood diseases are not something unique for competitors. In comparison with the previous generation, the car has become much more technologically advanced and it looks much more beautiful. In addition, Kia Cerato 3 is quite liquid, it will be possible to sell it profitably after a few years of operation.